we have now started Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. And basically what that now means is we are now going to begin the rest of the game. There's also a lot of in-game dialogue as well whilst we're driving, which means I'm going to try and be about as undisruptive as I can be. So, Bishop is the only guy on the map at the moment, so I'm going to race him first. Challenge Bishop for the right to race against the Luxury Rollers Car Club. He drives a Lexus GS430. Race one of three. Yes. Okay, let's go. As I'm trying to do a three-point turn. Okay, anyway, here we go. You want to watch out for this girl, Vanessa? She a real man hater, homie. And apparently we just go past Vanessa. You can beat this dude Carlos, man. He got a beautiful 78 Monte Carlo. But he ain't too smart. I'm sure he isn't, Oscar. Yeah, the main mechanic in this game, by the way, is called Oscar. We do also get other mechanics in this game as well. Main mechanics for each of the cities that we go to. Oscar is basically the first one, and then we have two others in both Atlanta and Detroit. But for now, let's race against Carlos. Okay, we got one of those Lexus driving battles on our case now. You want to be careful. Those cars may be luxury, but they can fly. I'm sure they can, Oscar. But then again, because I did not have too much trouble beating Oscar last time around, I'm basically just going to race against him again. Providing I don't have too many problems again. Oh, and by accident, we have already claimed our first... Rockstar icon. Well, that was purely an accident. Anyway, here we go. That was purely by accident, by the way. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll probably have to uh, do something. Alright, so we've got two Hummers and one Laxus as our competition. Still, I did not think I was going to collect one of those Rockstar icons this early on in the game. I mean, that was purely by accident. But yet, because Bishop literally shot through the casino, I just happened to be there to basically claim it. As soon as I dropped through the casino. At least I think that's what it was. I just wound up having to get myself one of those. So we're heading through Patco Park. I think that's meant to be a baseball stadium if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately I don't really know much about baseball. So our first lap is done as we just managed to avoid a tram. Hopefully I will not wind up accidentally collecting any more of those Rockstar icons before the end of the game. But then again, at least I can say I showed you where one of them was. It was unexpected but it was unexpected in a good way. It still sucks to say that I can't show you the tutorials unless they're on a separate video. I wish I could show them in the same video, but again, I don't want to take my chances with the uh, copyright bots. So Walker finished second in his Hummer. 
And where's the rest of the field? Is anyone else going to come by? Okay, I think that looks like Bishop who's coming up. Oh, never mind. It's Liam who is third. And Bishop is well behind me. <laughs> 43 seconds almost behind me. Or 42 seconds behind me, actually. So, Walker was second, Liam third, and Bishop was fourth. Don't be getting all cocky on me now! Oscar, I can assure you my cockiness is very limited. For now. Anyways, so that's our first race done. Pretty easy in all honesty. Let's now move on to race number two. Oscar, if I didn't know what you were talking about at this stage, I would literally have to be asking if there's anyone available to give me psychiatric help. But I'm pretty sure I don't need that. At least not now, anyway. So, race two, as this time we have five opponents compared to the four opponents we were racing against initially. And Bishop is already forcing me way out into the danger zone. But that's okay, because I am following the guys up ahead of me. And I am caught up in the traffic. Unfortunately, that was something I could do nothing about. As much as I really tried to get out of it. But it's okay. Because I should be on my way to winning, hopefully. And only just. Even though I got caught up in traffic, I managed to pull it off by half a second over Bishop. Fernando was third, Paul fourth, and it was Xavier who came home in fifth. 2.3 seconds behind me. Although then again, because this race was very short, I'm not surprised to say that it was 2.3 seconds from first to last. Okay, let's move on. Come on, fool! Don't be getting arrogant because you want to race now! Oscar, have I ever been arrogant on you? At least not so far, anyway. Okay, well, let's move on to the last race now. It's only three races against Bishop, and it's another circuit race, and where if we can win, we will give ourselves... $1,000... In cash. Alright, so we got a Dodge Magnum, a Lexus GC430, I couldn't quite see who else there was in the field. And of course, using the burnout mechanism to full effect because that's how I can launch off the line with some extra acceleration. I know this is going to be pretty easy. To start with, because I've done it before. I'm pretty sure the trouble I'll have here is not going to be much unless the traffic starts running into me, but in which case I don't think that's really a problem, because it can be quite easy to avoid the traffic here as long as you don't rack yourself in the process. And... Oh! Fuck me. Yep, he definitely forced me in the wall there. There was nothing I could have done to get out of that rack. He basically got loose and then he just went straight into me. There was nothing I could do about that accident. It was basically just waiting to happen. Once he... Once he overcorrected and then the oversteer just forced him straight into me. 
But then again, it's nothing to really be frustrated about at this stage. It's early on in the game. I know it's not going to be too difficult of a task to beat these fools. I also know the reason why it's pretty easy to start with is because, well, I am using a lighter card than the rest of my competition. So, you know, there is that. Anyways, we are moving along nicely as we now move on to our final lap here at Mission Bay Bridges. And it looks as though from here we are going to move ourselves further and further up. And I think we just have two checkpoints left. So through the final corner now and over the bridge and there we go. I win. Pretty easy first couple of races if I do say so myself. Monica came home second, then it was Charlie in third, followed by Lax. And Bishop is rounding out the field. And yep, there he is. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, the guy on that bike is a cop. Okay, I understand now. Okay, let's move on. Holmes, I got some killer new stock in. Come by and take a look. Will do, Oscar. Will do. So, pretty easy first couple of races. And as a result of us beating Bishop, we have now unlocked the Luxury Rollers Car Club. Unfortunately, this is one of those car specified events which means we need a luxury car if we are going to win that event and this is basically the case with lots of other events in this game as well but anyway and we've got some flame vinyls available to use but for now those are a bit expensive so I'm not really thinking about installing those at the moment and we have now got some new rims available to fit to our car as well. Anyways, so before we go any further, I need to get myself a replay. Because that's one thing I haven't done here yet. And I figured, well, I might as well do that. Because I'm cool like that. So, you know, there is that. So, anyways... Again, I did not expect myself to get that Rockstar icon literally in only the second episode of this game. I was not expecting myself to get the first Rockstar icon. That was totally by accident. If you know what I'm on about. It was one of those accident, it was just one of those things I happened to run into totally by accident, but at the same time, it was a happy accident. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think he just got loose off the corner in that magnum, and basically what happened was... He got loose whilst he was in traffic, and then as he was overcorrecting, he basically steered into me, and then I steered straight into the building. There was nothing I could have done to avoid it unless, unless I would have come to a dead stop, but, well, me lazy, so I just decided to roll with it but either way it didn't matter because I still won the race pretty easily
it's nothing to really get fussed about at this stage. I'm also pretty sure that's a power plant. Anyway. Well, it's either that or it's a steel mill. With those chimneys. I don't really know a lot about San Diego. Except for saying that, well, the Los Angeles Chargers, they used to be known as the San Diego Chargers. And I don't really know much about the Chargers, in all honesty. Well, except for saying they did make it all the way to Super Bowl twenty nine. Well, they did put up a valiant effort against the San Francisco 49ers, but... They were never able to catch Steve Young and Jerry Rice. Because in all honesty, San Francisco basically had that game nailed. It's also hard to believe they've not won the... Su it's also hard to believe the Niners have not won the Super Bowl ever since. But anyway, let's continue the career. And we've got another tutorial. You, Listen, I know you like to hang out with the kids, but some battles like to keep things exclusive. I just had the luxury rollers in here telling me they was looking for new members. I thought about you. Might be out of your league, I don't know. Expensive stuff, but it looks good. And like all cars, there's a way to drive them. The weight to these cars can give you an advantage if you learn how to use it. If you're interested, I can hook you up. I forgot there was a cutscene there. Okay, that's it. Yeah, again, I forgot there was a cutscene there for... Because, basically, we get cutscenes every time we... Hey, Holmes, you want to race in a tournament? I got word of one you might want to check out. Okay. So, Balboa Park is the first tournament we unlock. So now that we've beaten Bishop, we do now have the Luxury Rollers Car Club unlocked. But as you can see there... We cannot race in that at the moment because we do not have a luxury car. However, I will make sure to get on with those races eventually. But before then, I still have a few other races to do. We've also got some optional races we can do here if we really want to, but I'm not sure over whether or not they'll be available for me to do once I'm done with them. I think they're just optional, but next time we will be going up against Carlos. We will be going up against Carlos because he seems to be the closest. So, next time on Midnight Club 3, Hauling with Carlos.